so let's go and do a quick bit of uh, harvesting. We'll go and get enough food for some tabbouleh and we'll make some falafels and tabbouleh tonight. Tabbouleh is couscous salad, falafels is chickpea flour with cumin made into little um, cakes kind of. So let's go down and get some food. So first of all we get ourselves a few tomatoes. These ones could do a drink of water. These are the tomatoes I just let go wild. And these ones were self-propagated. Just from tomatoes that fell on the ground last year. Now I'm picking a bit of mint as well. Because tabbouli has mint in there. One thing I haven't got today is lemons. I'm too lazy to go down the shop and get some, so we have to do it without lemons today. So there's the tomatoes and mint. Now we need a bit of paprika. So we go in there. They're not the biggest paprikas in the world, but they're tasty. We'll take the chilli as well, just for fun. Paprikas and mint. You better get some basil as well. A few Japanese peppers too. Why not? Seeing as we've got so many. Bit of celery. Just chop up and add a bit of flavour in there. And first of all we make the falafel mix. Now you can usually make that yourself out of, sorry about that noise in the background, that's the, the machines. And um, you can make it out of chickpea flour yourself with a bit of cumin, it's quite easy to make but I've got a ready mix today because I've run out of chickpea flour. So first thing we do is make our falafel mix. Cumin, I pump, pimp it up a little bit with a few freshly ground cumin seeds just to give it a bit more zing. Celery leaves as well. So I'll leave that to stand for 10 minutes. So we just slice up a bit of aubergine here. Also a garden aubergine. Not as perfect as a shop and a lot of seeds in there. That go in the frying pan. So we let them them fry up there. So our next job is to do the couscous and what I'll do is this quickly just put on some boiling water onto the couscous. There's a thousand ways of making couscous. You can steam it, boil it. This is the way uh, an Algerian guy showed me in France once. So it's the one I always use and it's really quick. So you just leave that then to soak for a while now. Dump the salt on there. And while that is soaking a bit, then I'll just chop up a few tomatoes. Now that couscous is soaked in the uh, water now, you've got to remember to give it a good stir then. Don't wait too long, give it a good stir and fluff it all up. And it all breaks up into little tiny separate pieces then. But the trick is, don't leave it too long while you stir it. And to that we add some olive oil. Just normal olive oil from Aldi or Lidl, doesn't matter. We can chuck a few tomatoes in there now already. Now what couscous tabbouleh needs is um, some mint in there. So I'll just chop up a bit of mint. Mm 
celery in there too. Basil leaves in there too. Frying what you want really. Black pepper. Give it a mix. And try not to forget the uh, <coughs> aubergines while you're burning. Mix it in. Right, forget about that couscous for a minute. Onto the aubergines, we put a little parmesan while they're still hot. Okay. So now we cut up a little bit of zucchini, courgette, and uh, it's a bit big this one now, but never mind. We fry that up too. Now this sort of thing is like Italian antipasti really. If you go in Italy you always see um, a vitrine, a, a glass cabinet full of stuff like that and it's all just sitting swimming in olive oil. So it, it keeps for a day or two as well, so you don't have to eat it all at once. It makes a, in fact it improves the taste a little bit of time. We'll have a quick check of the falafel mix that's okay. Cut up a few of those Japanese peppers. I have a few for the uh, to go with this, and <coughs> a few to go in tabbouleh. Turn over these courgettes. Doing sort of multi multitasking here at the moment. Three, four things going at once and the camera. And then we'll put the courgettes in there. And on top of there, those Japanese peppers. So we put a few of these in, that's nigella and little tiny black corns seeds you get on Turkish fladen broad. But they add a nice little something to it. Not too many, but too much though. Took a bit of my couscous as well. And once again, a bit of salt and parmesan on top. And this can be eaten warm or cold. Tonight we'll be eating this cold, so just leave it for a while. That's sort of like a side dish. So I'll put that to the side for now. So we are back to the couscous. Mix all them tomatoes in. What we should really do here is put some lemon juice in. But I haven't got any lemon juice. So I have to do without lemon juice today. Tiny bit of chilli. And the rest of those Japanese peppers. Now doesn't that look lovely, eh? Her mouth's watering looking at it. So you can always add a bit more olive oil if you like, or more, more basil. Coriander would be optimal, but I'm afraid all my coriander's gone to seed, so I should get some more coriander planted, really. So we can leave that to rest for a while. Couscous. Now this thing here is my um, falafel maker. And uh, you can see it's made out of old tin cans. And I got it free with a, with a packet of couscous once. 
And I love it. I love this thing. I've had it for years. And uh, if you look inside where it's been like roughly dug out and stuff there, somewhere in, about, probably in Morocco or somewhere, I don't know. You can see it's made out of old tin cans. I like that sort of style. I'll show you how it works anyway. So it can be a bit fiddly this little machine. Don't always work actually. There's my falafel mix in there. And what I do is I get my falafel mix like this and uh, pull that down, put it on there. And that makes it into like little sort of burgers really. And you go like that. And then it makes your little falafel in. You can just do it with a spoon as well and make little splodges of it. But oh, that's quite cool, this little thing. I like it. Super low tech, but works great. Remember, scale electric, all in the wrist action. So into that um, couscous mix, we had a couple of chopped olives. Mix it in nicely. And optional is a handful of sultanas. And you can also put a few nuts in there if you want as well, depending on what you like. So we just get these things turned over. You can deep fry these as well, but I haven't got a deep fryer, so I just do them in a bit of olive oil. Everything in olive oil at our house. Raffles on that plate there. Basil leaf on there just to make it look pretty. Now to go with that you can make yourself some um, tzatziki or some just some yoghurt with some mint in. I think I'll just make yoghurt with a bit of mint in for this. This is a little trick that's quite good. This is Moroccan mint tea and uh, it's got a more intensive taste than the um, uh, mint I grow. So I use that as a herb and just mix it in sometimes with stuff. I'll just mix it in there. I don't think I'll bother with the garlic today. So there we have it, late summer food, fresh from the garden. Couscous uh, tabbouleh salad, zucchinis, aubergines, Japanese peppers, paprika and nigella seeds. They're the ones with the bumps on. Uh, falafels, little mint sauce to go with it and a simple salad. So all I need now is a family to eat it all. Have a great day.